Okay, so you're on a job. You've got an RC4 Magic Dimmer system. We have some light gear LED ribbon. It's red, green, and blue. We need it set to three specific channels on our DMX console. It needs to look right, look smooth, and be ready for a shot in about five seconds. So let's see if we can do that. Here's my console. To assign channels, I need all the channels to be off, and then the first channel I want to assign to a dimmer, I bring it up. And the level I bring it up to sets the curve. For LEDs to look great, ISL curve with RC4 digital persistence makes it really smooth. That's what I want. Channel 37 is where my lighting designer told me I need it. Channel 37 on the red. I come to my dimmer, the set A button. That's my red dimmer. It is now on red. Remember, that was the only DMX channel up. That's how it knew it was this channel. At 30%, that level means ISL curve, digital persistence on. That means we get that nice decay that looks like a vintage lamp. We want that on this shot. We're gonna do red, green, and blue as three channels in sequence. So channel 38, 30%. I'm pushing green, I've got it on the second dimmer. Green is 38. And I need blue on 39. There's my blue. There we go. Light Gear has done a lovely job of a nicely balanced white. That's a great white on Master Fade. Looking good. Blackout. We can see the digital persistence. If I wanted faster blinks, something more instantaneous, I could go with 50% instead of 30%. Gives me the ISL curve, the linearity that makes an LED look good, but super fast response so I don't get that dim out. Personally, I think it looks pretty good in most cases. So that's got that all set up. We're ready to shoot.